believe it or not, the Ducks are 2-0. Uh, Oregon dispatched Fresno State 42-25 to on Saturday, jumping out to a 35-6 to lead and then limping to the finish line a bit. Uh, what has Duck fans most concerned, I think, is a second straight lackluster second half. Um, the week one win over Arkansas State, I think the second half could be characterized as uneventful. But this one was a bit uglier with three lost fumbles by the offense, two by Marcus Mariota. There's been a lot of conjecture about really what's going on with this team. Uh, I think really it just has to do with the usual early season stuff. We're rotating a lot of guys in, trying out a, different, a lot of different personnel groups. And so with that, there's going to be guys that haven't played together as much as other places. And you're going to see some missed coverages or some missed assignments or some, you know, miscommunications here and there. Um, I think another thing about it is the fact that we've jumped out to such big leads. Uh, that can lead to a lack of focus. You don't want to see it, but it's understandable that it could happen that way. And the other thing is that I think uh, Chip Kelly and staff... Once you get out to that big a lead, you start to focus less on winning the game because you've already done that in a sense, and you start to worry about, you know, how can we improve? What do we need to do to get better and use these reps um, in a way sort of like a live scrimmage? And so I don't think the, the coaching staff was terribly concerned about the second half. Um, there are definitely film that needs to be watched and questions that need to be answered. Um, but this definitely won't be a satisfied Duck fan base until the team can put it together for a full 60 minutes. And they've got a great opportunity to do that on Saturday against Tennessee Tech, um, our first FCS opponent of the season. Uh, Tennessee Tech comes in at 2-0, and and they've put up very good numbers on offense thus far this season. Um, quarterback Trey Lamb has some talent. He can throw a bunch. Um, they have... Former Tennessee wide receiver Derrick Rogers out wide, um, and he's really, you know, been able to incorporate himself into the offense, and he's put up some pretty good numbers in the first two games this season. However, this is an FCS opponent. Um, Arkansas State and Fresno State, while not great teams by any stretch, they're not bad teams either. I wouldn't consider them to be really a, you know, a cupcake game. Uh, I think both teams are going to finish in the top half of their conference this year. And they really do have some talent on both of their rosters. Uh, so these games were, I don't think by any stretch, uh, real laughers and things that were in doubt uh, from moment one. And Oregon put together performances to win easily in both of those games. With Tennessee Tech, this is an FCS opponent. This is a game that the Oregon Ducks really should come out and dominate from the opening kick to the final bell. Um, if we don't see that, if we see another lackluster second half where the Ducks get outscored, then it's time to really think about, you know, what's going wrong. Uh, is it a coaching staff problem? Is it a player problem? Uh, because then it becomes a concern if Oregon can't put 60 minutes together against an FCS team. Uh, stay tuned all this week for news and analysis from AddictedToQuack.com. This is Takimoto. Go Ducks.